Hey guys, and Eric here. I'm going to be doing episode 5 of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, last episode we ranked up. We're now a 1 star Survey Corps expedition guy. So, um, yeah, this is going to be my journey on how I become the greatest of all time. Well, I'm already the greatest of all time, but in this universe, I gotta become the greatest of all time as well. So, this is my um, journey to that status. Um, we are about to go do a quest from a Diamond Clan member called Mai or May, M-A-I, I don't know how to pronounce that but yeah let's see what they have in store for us I still don't know how to switch up my team from here but I don't know where they want me to switch up my team maybe in my room? hold on let me go in my room real quick so yeah it's definitely not in my room um, I don't know where it could be so I'm just gonna talk to her See if she could teach my Goat Jr. some strong moves. Here at the training guys, your Pokemon can master their moves or learn new moves. Hello, Survey Corps recruit. Do you need something from me? I want new moves. Yep. He <laughs> said, so here we go. Hi ya. Alright. So how do I open my box? Yeah, so I'll do it at the camp here. I still want that Eevee. Maybe I'll go try to get it before I go to to my whatever. Oh, never mind. They are auto walking me. Damn. Volo. <laughs> did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see? So what we, it's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once a battle starts. Oh, so that's what that big circle was when one of the times I hit them. I see. If you're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokedex as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Alright, Volo, I gotta, I gotta, see, Benny's my biggest hater, but Volo's my biggest fan. Okay, there's two people with requests out here. Yeah, let me switch up my Pokemon. But, um, I'm gonna go check on for the Eevee real quick. If I find it, I'll skip to that. If I don't, I'll skip to going to see where Akari is getting into. Alright, so unfortunately, I did not find the Eevee again. So we're just gonna progress on with the story. Hey, man. Alright, bro. Thank you. Oh, I saw a cricket talk before <laughs> it faded out. I like I like the diamond clan, like what they wearing right now. Well, I'm 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 more of a fan of diamond than pearl, anyways. Over here, my this is Hervé. My my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. She got a stantler on her leg. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is this. You feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? I mean, like, what kind of question is that? I'm the greatest of all time. I cannot be beat. I do. That's good to hear. That security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. Don't flame the security core. This year's my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He still hasn't evolved. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. She better battle me. Oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> What's this theme? Hey, yo, use hypnosis. Sleep up, Munchlax. Yes, sir. Bro, the music. 
like it's diamond and pearl music but remixed like this it's groovy man yo confuse him come on drifloon he woke up he used that while he was sleeping Wait, is he not still sleeping? I, I think it, I think I'm about to die. No info available. I think I'm gonna try to put it back to sleep then. Okay. Oh. So in this game, you can't like fully style it, fully put someone to sleep. No, Drifloon! You lucky I didn't bring out my Rowley. I, I gotta, I gotta start using my Rowley like in the first slot. Um, that might actually not be a good idea because the rollout might just kill at the three. This song, man. All right, Claire, hit him with the thunder shock. Eat that up. Yeah, nah. Um. Rowlet definitely would have died off of that. Goodbye, Munchlax. So sucky that Driftloon's not gonna get any of that XP. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battle for us. Thank you. Because I was going to be really triggered if I had to walk all the way back to heal him up. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. VV chokes. Oh, so that's that blue thing I keep seeing on the ground. It's called Morning Dew Bud. It is used as a material for crafting items that can restore vitality to a Pokemon that has fainted. You and your Pokemon have fought well together, you practically acted as one of them. Rather like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon deer track heights. It is a large fearsome foe, like in any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? The deer, deer track heights? Oh. <laughs> why, why did I make that surprise face when my phone started ringing? I think you have. It's showing you where to go, isn't it? My my, that's some curious sort of map. Is that one of the Galaxy Team's inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave it in your hands. You'll do great out there, I know it. It seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps, new one. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? As in the region, or is it a person? I think I'm gonna say of course, because I think they're just talking about the person. I mean the region. No, I'm not certain if you've been told the true story. The true story is this. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created a very universe using its power over time's flow. And this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. Also, they talk about Dialga. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from its sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely seen by any human. The old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a con connection to Almighty Sinnoh. And it's my duty, and it is the duty of the wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Height is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me and you may understand. Okay. The Cricket out here. I'm gonna try to catch it. Okay. If I get him with the back shot. Oh, his back is exposed. Oh, turn back. Oh, it's a scared Pokemon. It's running away from me. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to waste a Pokemon like that. 
How does it see me? Hey, it'll turn around for me again? Right here, back shot. How's that not a back shot? Got it anyways. Nice. I know, I know off the trailers that these guys are aggressive. So... Uh, I'm going to kind of want to wait for him to turn around like that. Oh my god, the backstab of the century. GG, bro. Is that a Panchan? What is that? Oh, it's some type of resource. Man. <laughs> Who's on me? Get off me. You can't stop me. I'm out of here. I hear rolling. Yeah, that for me. Thank you. Okay. Hello, Sarley. Oh, that's a, uh, that's an up. It's okay, bro. Go ahead and relax. <laughs> Why is she nodding her head like that? Okay. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. What? My dog? Hey, yo! <laughs> professor Lavinson, man. Phew, thank goodness. I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha, now could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine. As long as you stay out of the way. <laughs> so where's the Pokemon? This is your track heights. This is where I've long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancient blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. Is that Cricket Toot? Yeah, <laughs> Cricket Toot. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker, here to disturb the peace with its racket. One of the coolest cries in Pokemon, in my opinion. And that's what you're here for, Her Hervé. To drive that interloper from this place. I'm sure that your Pokemon are ready for the battle. So, if we're going to get to Krikatot... Shh. Um... Rowlet will be most useful. Upon my word, what a large specimen! Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land. They're all as oversized as this one. Or is it and they're all <laughs> as oversized as this one? Exactly. They're not only big though. They're strong and may know moves that other of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you are stronger still than this alpha. So go show it that beyond any mistaking. I will. Thank you, my. Be careful, Hervé. Size is a potent weapon, and potent weapon in the end of itself. No doubt, this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon has some strong moves at their disposal. Disposal. Very difficult to catch. I'm definitely not gonna try to catch this. I'm definitely going to try to end this thing's life. So. How do I switch during a battle, is my question, because usually I would just go Drifloon, put it to sleep, and then go out into the GOAT Junior, but um, if I can't switch, I'm just gonna, you know, hit him with the young GOAT! Oh my god, why do you look down at him like that? Oh, so you wanted me to walk up to you. Go Junior. Make light work of this fool. Okay. Check the action order. Why? 
You know, I figured that out already. No way, it has aerial. It's over. It's over. Roosting won't help me because. I'm gonna have to strong style this because I'm dying next turn, anyways. Gusto. That did have? I'll take that. Go Junior, bro. Dude, Nuzlocke in this game would probably be super hard. Okay. So. We have Starly here. We're gonna also just. Strong attack, kill this thing. I think. Wait, hold on. Let me let me see my Starly stats. Like I said, I'm not gonna try to catch this because I mean I have a Cricket Tot already, and I don't care that it has like better moves or whatever. It it, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, I don't know why. I forgot I had a Starly on my team. I could have just led Starly and probably just won, but. Oh well, we won anyways. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in Alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. I am him. We'd best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off such a foe. What in the world? Word dear. It's the Great Word Deer. <laughs> Is this thing gonna start speaking too? Oh, he's sizing me up. He looks upon you with kindness, Hervé. I say the Great Word Deer has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He's an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of history while bearing a human on his back. A human deem he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it? Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. What does he know about Alola? Professor Lavington. Hervé. Captain Celine sent me. She said once Hervé carried out this request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. Uh, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Adamant and the Commander, but still, is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with Pokemon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. The Great Word Deer has taken a liking to Hervé as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear our, of how you aided us. I'll come to show you my appreciation with a proper word as soon as I can. If you want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. Anyway, we should be able to have that base camp set up once Construction Core arrives. <laughs> Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having another base camp to start will be a great help for on our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. What say we all head back to the Wallflower? I only made $843 today. It's kinda whack. Okay. Benny old chum, 
The usual potato mochi, please. Make it for three today as well. But he still hasn't apologized for hating on my existence in the first episode. Have you all heard the grave news? The frenzy cleavered from the rumors. That frenzy cleavered from the rumors. It ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Damn. People are dying in Pokemon. <laughs> ah, this is the cleaver that was reportedly struck by a powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been having behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of dangers is inevitable. Inevitable? Nice one. <laughs> inevitable when <laughs> researching unfamiliar Pokemon. But I'm sure Hervé can handle things just fine. Yeah, leave it to me. Laviton, I'll do anything for you. Are you certain? I've heard Cleaver's so mighty, even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. Well, I'm the greatest of all time. So, he doesn't compare to me in the slightest, not even 1%. Now, now, you forget that the strengths of the Pokemon are key items of information that we, or the Survey Corps, are duty bound to research. And since the perilous work of our cause for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine neat meal. Eat up, eat up, eat up. The next day. Good morning, Hervé. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use your for sumer pr practice. Yeah, so that's probably gonna end this episode off. Um, episode five. Next episode, we're probably gonna go see what's good with Cleaver, and um. Sorry if my <laughs> my voice is kind of fading because I have been recording these like back to back to back to back. So I'm talking a lot. I should probably get some water. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And I'll see you in the next episode.